so does the archbishop how does he see his role in more concrete terms does is he see himself in a more prophetic capacity as a, a ringing a bell of alarm or does he see uh that he has a more active specific role is that something you have a sense of I do feel he, he he feels called to speak, as he just said in that passage, the truth as he sees it as a bishop, as an archbishop in the church, and to remain faithful to the teaching of the church, the depositum fidei, the deposit of the faith, and that that is his way of being faithful. He's been very careful not to go beyond a certain limit. And I think in he deeply believes in the unity, the necessity of keeping the unity of the church, although he senses, as a lawyer would sense, that when you're debating over certain questions, there could be a position that has to be rejected and another that has to be affirmed. So he has said to me on several occasions, I am waiting for a sign. He specifically, I, I can reveal that we discussed at great length things that are not in the book. And these include issues in the election of different popes in the last half century and the resignation of Pope Benedict and um, issues involving that resignation. But these things he has not spoken out about in public because these things would affect very precise mechanisms of church government and unity. What he has spoken about has been always the teaching as he understands it that has been handed down from the apostles on the essential doctrines of the faith with regard to the centrality of Jesus Christ, the sacraments of the church, in a time which, as I mentioned earlier, there is a general cultural thrust of materialism to de-transcendentalize and to de-Christianize the formerly Christian culture of the West. And right at that point, he has taken his stand and uh, is doing the best that he sees to do with all the limitations on his resources. Um.